Hello peeps, welcome back to Old Yorkshire Git Tries. Final Fantasy 14 part 385. Happy New Year to you all. I'm cracking one out early for you this morning. It's still bloody dark outside. Our dubs have just gone off to work, bless her. Right, uh, one shout out. Uh, new subscriber, Not an Apple. Ooh, is it? I'm not going there. Oh, thank you for subscribing, my friend. It is much appreciated. If you're watching this, you might be on other one I do. But anyway, here we go. Yeah, subscribers creeping up very slowly. I didn't write down how many it was and I forgot. Duh. Right, let's crack on, shall we? When I remember what we're doing. Bloody hell, the... It's because it's dark. There we go. I can read what it says. Ah, we got to do that one. Enter the abyss, the eighth circle. Right, shall we get that one done? Uh, duty finder. I've got to try and remember which one it is now. That one, I think. Eighth circle. Abyssos. Abyssos. Join. Right. Eight man team. Right, uh, we completed all the flying ones, didn't we? So, we've got shitloads of things to go and do. Let's see what Sockles wants. Oh, he's got a gift pack. Albert, how is your fascinating, familiar friend? What is it about you that ignites my observer's soul? Well, now that we've been properly introduced, I can tell us, you can tell us more. I'd very much like to know how you see the world. Let me. That's better. Assuming you're amenable to the idea, you must join Xiaomian on another tour to take a wider look at the surrounding facilities. Yeah. We delight in teaching in each other. Where to begin? Why does my computer keep beeping like that? I bloody hate that day. I panic. Are we still recording? Is it still going? Oh, bloody thing. Any place you feel will best elicit a response from our guest. It's obviously something keeps connecting and disconnecting, isn't it? I have no idea what it is. Right, yes, of course. Fucking gone off on a tangent. Oh, it's New Year's Day. Did we all get pissed last night? We were in bed at 10 o'clock. <laughs> oh, boring old farts or what? Nah, Dubs has to get up dead early, so... hey oh, we'll, we'll have a few drinks when she's not working. She had, she, it was either Christmas or New Year, so she had, she had Christmas off this year, which was nice. First time I've had my kids for Christmas Day in seven years. Yeah, 2015 was the last time they were here on Christmas Day. Uh, my ex always wins and has them, but not this year. The kids put the foot down and said, now we're spending it with Dad, bless them. And we had a fantastic time, it really was. What a brilliant day it was. It was lovely. But anyway, I've digressed again, haven't I? <laughs> it's because I ain't got a brew. Drying up. Any excuse. Right. Uh, oh, we've already got three in the team. Speak with Charmian. Where did he go? Where's, where's he gone? Let's get the map up. Is that him? Yes. So he's over that way. Right, let's get on a... Don't have to worry about all them different things. Here he is. We have yet to register an official name for this specimen, so simply call it the Bird of Elpis. 
What is your first thought upon beholding this majestic creature? I want to ride it into the sky. I want to fight it. But I've seen it somewhere before. Ooh, what do I ask? If I, I ask to write it, no, I've seen it somewhere before. You have, but we haven't completed the evaluation, let alone registered a concept. Are you perhaps acquainted with the entity's creator? In any case, I'm eager to hear more of your responses. You truly are unlike any construct I've ever met. Let's continue southwards. Over there. Dun, 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 Come on, peeps. The structure over yonder houses some of our more unorthodox researchers. Rather than weave creation magics, they breed existing specimens in the hopes of begetting new strains and species. Method is imprecise, the outcome uncertain. To my eyes, such research seems awfully self-indulgent. Merely a means to state the whim of one's intellectual curiosity. Our purpose in life is to improve the theorists. In my opinion, we should steer clear of techniques which produce flawed results. Mm. Then again, you learn through your mistakes, don't you? You have no use for flawed creations. What if the process created something unexpected, incredible? Do what? Yeah. That one. A serendipitous discovery. I suppose it is possible. Thank you. I had thought to broaden your horizons. Here I am realising how narrow my own views are. Time for a spot of rest and reflection. Move on to the morning dew. It's favoured by many. Okay, we're off to alehouse. Oh look, crying now you've upset me. I don't know why my eyes are watering. It's not that sad. <laughs> Alright, morning dew. Where's that then? Oh, hang on. We've got this bit here to do a lot. So, let's get on the... Put up that bit of the map. Obviously not been here before. Oh look. Right, we've mapped the thing. Right, we need to get on here. Okay. And off we go again. Where is he? Oh. Welcome to our garden of respite. We can explore more of it later, but first, 
what do you think of people, of us? Well, I've often sat here. You are as deities. We are not so different. Oh, yes, you are. I guess we are not so different. Perhaps that's true. You do seem far closer to us in nature than most other familiars. Let's set aside such musings and bask in the morning dews. Serenity. Right, inventory. I'm going to have to get rid of some stuff, aren't I? A new bracelet. I've got a lot of shit to get rid of. Okay. Right. Are you well rested? One cannot perform at one's best without allowing the mind and body time to recuperate. Yeah, where are we going now then? You'll fade away without the proper nourishment. The talk and weight we must feed you immediately. Would you mind picking some of the white blooms to the west of here? Still only three of us in the team so far. Right, some wild blooms. And the next one's down here, so wet. Archistratus. Where's the next one then? Somewhere over there. Oh, see him. Charmaine, Charmaine, explain to me the crisis at hand. Have you brought the flowers? These are the ones we need. I'll add them to the fruits. It is the work of but a moment. Oh, he's making a brew, bastard. Milk, no sugar, please, mate. Here we are. Freshly squeezed anagnorisis juice medley. Drink up. Curious to you what you think of it. Right, 
Oh, is that what that one done then? Oh, right, okay. Where did it go? Is it in? Got it. You drink the juice, noting the complexities of the floral and fruity flavours. Does it get you pissed, though? That's the question. Ah, good, it seems we're able to tolerate liquid sustenance. You don't appear to be suffering from any loss of material form, but a familiar must have a regular infusion of ethereal energy. And now that we know you won't suddenly vanish, will you please reassure Charmian? She still looks terribly concerned. Charmian, darling, are you alright? So glad you were able to replenish your stores of ether. I firmly believe that the consumption of food should be limited to restoring one's strength. Eating for enjoyment alone is an unnecessary drain. I don't think so, love. Nothing but fine dining. I have so much respect for Overseer Socks, socks and his culinary talent. Uh. Oh, we've got bloody more, is it? How are we doing anyway? Oh, we've dropped down to three again. Nope. Familiar fate. I feel we've grown to understand each other. There is one last thing I wish to know. As you've seen, our purpose is to improve life. We have each our own way of approaching that purpose. Familiars to exist for a reason. I wonder what you feel about your place in the grand scheme of things. Xiaomi, perhaps you can provide our friend with an example. You're right, of course, we must skip the journey. Must not skip the journey in our haste to reach the destination. Where to begin? Ah, sorry. I've got a frozen shoulder today. Bloody everything's cocking up, innit? Still got this bad chest. Bloody legs don't work, well. I know what I can do about that. And now I've got a frozen shoulder. Pain in the neck. Literally. <laughs> Where to begin? I'm falling to bits. <laughs> Put me in a black bin bag and throw me out for bin men tomorrow. Where to begin? Broadly speaking, we study the wisdom and magics of our forebears. You've got forebears, have you? <laughs> Sorry. No joke. Choose our path. Even among the observers of anagnorisis, however, overseers, socks, and I share a similar calling. Uh, please accompany me to the archives in the northwest. Right. Well, the eyes watering. I don't know why. To the northwest. All aboard the Skylark. Map. Oh, we're not going that far then. Still. This is where we keep all the records. Any of these documents won't give you an idea. I'll be waiting outside. Oh, we need. Oh, we're up to four. Books appear to contain details, observation logs. The name Sokols is written on each of the spines. A stack of half finished observation logs. It's written by someone other than Socks. 
You pick up the log and flip to a random page. Today there was an incident involving a hippocampus. Right, are we done? Where is he? Did you find the observation logs in lightning? Overseer Sock has built up quite a library. That's why I'm here to carry on the Overseer's invaluable work. When it comes to the continuous success, our purposes are very much aligned. Oh, waffle, waffle, bull. And uncertainty you need not feel. Overseer Socks. As one of our newest arrivals, you have ever been quick to doubt yourself. Yet you were able to guide Albert here on an engaging hour, an engaging tour through the intricacies, intricacies of our duties. I can't don't bet you, which clearly demonstrates the depths of our understanding. Oh, waffle, waffle, bullshit, bullshit. I'll do my best. Thank you, Albert. You have our gratitude. Complete. One down. Uh -oh. 50 to go, I think. Yuri. What's Yuri want? Come on. As a use of your unique charms. Aren't you adorable? There's something you might be able to help me with. A visitor from the Bureau has arrived. I would like you to offer her the warmest of welcomes. Oh, we've got five, three to go. Where is he then? Nope. One final wish. Oh, that's the eighth circle. Where are we meeting him then? What a pleasant surprise. You must be one of the most astonishingly brawny familiars I've ever seen. Yuri chose a representative well. Back 
back on again and fly back to where we've just bloody come from. Just I guess was enamoured with you as I am. New concepts and fascinate to the point of being distracting. Yeah, complete. That's what another one done. Oops. Are we looking? Two, three, four, five. Storm five. Ernest Observer. Oh, right, what you got, Ernie? Oh, he's got some goodies. Where in the world would the rest have gotten to? If you have a moment, I require help rounding up our ag agavoides. Six remain unaccounted for. Ferret rope. Right. Uh, bum 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 bum. Let's get the etheric rope. Set to hot bar. Somewhere over here. Oh, very nice. One. There he is. Right, but before we go on. I've got looks like it is now there we go set to hot bar right all set Two more. Two more needed. Be a nice fitting end to today's. There you go. Oh, 
Here we go, folks. Woohoo! It's <coughs> brightening up out there now. Abyssos, the eighth circle. Oh, it's Eric. Erichthonios is mine, heart and soul. And with your death, none will be left to stop me. Prometheus. Mm. Oh, nice trick. Oh, that's it, Hephaestus, the way his name was. Have the power. Hello, team. Oh, hello. Rest eternal in the dark depths of this prison. the blast you can't do anything about then from fulgent flame my servants rise stick with the gang out of my sight leave naught but ash in your wake let seep sorrow into your heart they've done it before haven't they <laughs> oh yeah, they have, aren't they? They knew just where to move. There's obviously some clue given, but I can't tell what it is yet. Behold the fruits of sacrifice. Standing here, aren't they? In flames embrace. Go forth and sate your boundless hunger. We need to go on. Servants rise. I tire of this farce. Oh, where are they going? Where are they going? I shall see my wish fulfilled. To be consumed. 
Ouch. Sear flesh from bone. Ouch. Ooh, that was a tricky one, wasn't it? Because where could you go? Out of my sight! Thank you! of sacrifice. He is tough. Mind if I said that about you every boss tonight. Oh, I stick with these because they know what's going to happen here. Go forth and sate your boundless hunger. Damn, weren't quick enough. Because I was looking at me, the hot bar, hot button things. Thank you, Emily. Emily. And flame my servants rise. A fitting death. He's going down. Oh shit. thingy coffee told me how to do this if I'm oh no we Not on there. Oh well, that one will do. Well played, team. I've got the armor. I need that.
The chain of events that led to this moment began with my error. When out the mercy I confined you here, now I break it and leave no trace of you behind. Go and finish him off. This is not over. I see you will not go peacefully. Don't do it, Eric. Even a cast off would uphold his pride, though such an impulse must speak to the overwhelming arrogance of my other half. The name Hephaestus shall grow to eclipse yours. None shall remember the deeds of La Habrea. Oh, the, they do, mate, they do. You speak as if you care a whit for the boy. Why then do you cower behind him? There are some desires which must not be realised. Come on, just crack on with it. Just put him out of his misery. He knows not what his wish would beget, a truth which you have hidden from him. Do you truly believe a father's role is to deceive and manipulate? I wish you would claim the name Hephaestus and call yourself his father yet you bind his mind and body in dark chains your words and your pride ring hollow Athena wanted her son by her side and he desires to return there what wickedness is there in mending a broken family Athena cared not for Eric beyond how he would serve her ends. You claim to be acting in his interest, but it is plain you are no different. As I ushered Athena to her end, I vowed that my sole mission in life would be to guide the star true. In service to that vow, I silenced the whispers of my heart. I could not nurture a son whilst an entire world looked to me for guidance. For that choice, I bear the responsibility. Yet he's still my son, and I will not suffer you to seduce him with false hope. You, who are naught but the bitter dregs of Athena, and I, the very worst of us. Mother, she, no, no, then who, how, do I? <laughs> I can't resist that. Trust in Labrea. Trust in Labrea. Never thought I'd hear Albert saying that. I hear you. I owe you, Anthemis, an apology. Athena, did you ever? Did you ever? And Labrea, I. I will have my say. How his mind was mine. I can't explain. Albert's words reached me through the haze. <coughs> Excuse me, COVID. They rang loud and clear. As did the words of another, in a voice much like yours, but resounded with truth. How did you master these bonds? Oh, we've interred much worse. You 
you worthless. Ah! And there it was, gone. Appears my failures have borne fruit after all. did well son speak with La Brea with Hephaestus essence contained this crystal we may safely return Eric above that he would bind Hephaestus with only half his senses intact you quite understand his adeptness in the art of internment. It was hardly what I had in mind, but a feat of deserving of praise nonetheless. Critical hit. So well, I thought it was over. Feel no trace of Hephaestus poison in your mind, and for a blessing, it appears your body is none the worse for wear. Let me. I made my way as soon as I could. I could no longer sense Hephaestus, and the force assailing Pandemonium's barriers has ceased. Are we rid of him for good and all? Uh. I only died twice. <laughs> I see, despite his muddled senses, Eric felt that to seal Hephaestus away was the proper course. It wasn't so noble as that. I only knew something had to be done, so I acted. La Habrea, was that how you dealt with Hephaestus in the past? Indeed, he was naught but the parts of my memory and soul that I had cut away, a mass of ether without a material vessel. Stories in essence within a crystal was the most logical choice. On that matter, I believe the time has come for you to show the rest of the tale. Festus creation, Athena's end. I heard your words, but only vaguely as from under the surface of a deep pool. My mother wished to use me. I would do the whole truth. Well, she wanted to use you for experiments, mate. Simple as that. Her mind was forever grasping for knowledge. Athena's purpose was to shatter these limitations. She sought to enter the realm of gods. Yeah, whatever. As leader of the words... Of La Brea, I spoke with her often about transcending our being. From an academic perspective, the challenge was played countless researchers throughout the ages. It was during these musings I began to formulate a theory, a means by which a person could meld with a creation. Like primals then. Although it was but a theory, Athena insisted I develop it further. I take it I was born not soon after. Just so, I believe she bore true affection for me and I was bl blind to her hidden intentions. When Pandemonium was built and she requested to lead the researchers, I saw no reason to deny her. Even setting aside our relationship, her compliments made her the obvious choice. 
And when you found out what she was doing, you killed her. I made haste to pandemonium at the moment I learned of these hidden chambers. As for what occurred next, it is best to see with your own eyes. Is that me? You are well aware that our respect for our neighbours in Elpis, the research of Pandemonium are not to be masked. Yet you stand before me with your face covered. What pretty defiance is this? What well, indeed, so quick you are to rebuke me, though you yourself have not set foot in these halls since their inception. You must have known you could not conceal this from me, myself, and <coughs> Agdistus forever, as well you know that I cannot allow it to continue. I shall say this but once, release Eric, else I shall have no choice but to strike you down. I would meet my end at the hands of none other. However, ere my time is come, I will have you know why, the why of it. Then you will not desist. Once you understand what has driven me this far, you shall see that stopping was never an option. The feeling of one way little against the needs of the entire star. Of course of that I am well aware, but you did not deign to descend from the old lofty heights, simply to lecture me as you would a child. You have an interest in my motivations, blah, 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 blah. blah. Give me your hand. Impossible, you bonded your souls. Aye, that the boundaries between us would cease to be. She offered me everything to be understood. I found myself unable to refuse. At that moment, my mind was a storm of questions, yet one roared the loudest. Did Athena ever truly love me? I am become thee, memory and mind. Oh, it's dragging a bit in it. And I thee. Can you feel it? Bum, 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 bum. Can you feel it? My heart, all that I am. As if you were my own. fathomless desire to dissect the mysteries of life an unquenchable thirst for knowledge Disappointing.
Yes, what is known cannot be unknown. You have beheld my life's work. Tries your mic to excise the memory. Oh, bollocks. So oh, yeah. I will dig it out. I will dispense with the corruption in my soul. Eh? Your rotten insight spreads. It was my weakness that let his wickedness fester. But never again. Today I cast aside fickle emotion. And abide in duty alone. Today I renounce all that I was. And live only as La Habrea. Thus did I forsake the part of myself that had been polluted, sealing it within a crystal. Never did I think I would one day face those memories made flesh. Forgive my bluntness, but your actions bordered on insanity. To go to such lengths to escape your memories, you nearly rewrote your very existence. <coughs> Rest assured, the change did not go unnoticed. As well they should have. That you escaped with your life was nothing short of a miracle. Oh dear. Why didn't you destroy the crystal then and there? Did you think to one day make use of the knowledge it contained? I will not deny such consideration. Oh, come on, job's done now. It's a good one. Festus doubtless believed he was performing his duty as a husband and father should, yet in truth he was but a puppet being pulled to and fro by Athena's desires. His goal was not to raise himself high. He thought only of seeing his dear Athena live again, that she might finish what she began. Yet for all that he and I were alike. We yet share the fatal flaw. You see, our need for control blinded us to other perspectives. While I was enthralled to Hephaestus, you called out to me. What say you now? Does Labrea speak true? Uh. He did promise. Yes, and now it's time. Your, t your turn to do the same. I just want to know one thing. Did you truly believe that hiding the truth was best for me? I know you had a fatal flaw. After all, I'm still not convinced. I have said all that I can say. Now it is for you to choose to believe me or not. The La Brea I know holds duty above all else. I would sooner prostrate myself before an erupting volcano than place my fickle emotions in his path. When you return to the surface, you'll doubtless don that mask once more. So before we climb out of this forsaken pit, I suppose I should say, Hello, Dad. Thank you, Hephaestus. Right, are we done? What quest? I've heard enough. I should first return to Pandemonium's gates. I'll gather my thoughts on the way.
Are you an apology, Albert? It was due to, to my own experience that Festus was so easily able to take hold of my mind. Oh, you thanks. I would never have known his story, my father's story. It's all right, pal. It was a tale I too was fascinated to hear. I'm afraid I cannot allow that, Elidibus. As long as you retain control of pandemonium, there is work to be done. Of course, I shall first free the remaining warders and restore this place to its former glory. Using the facilities in Tartarus, we should be able to reverse the changes made to their bodies and minds. I'll stay behind to oversee the process. That is well, but I must yet learn why I was considered the key and how he intended to revive Athena. Such questions are best left unanswered. And I intend to destroy the crystal containing Hephaestus and Sessons so we can never repeat the mistake. I see no reason to gainsay your judgment. There is the matter of your crystal, however. Truth be told, I had not considered its origin until I saw the one containing the Festus Ether. I was struck by how wholly different they are. There is another. Yeah, I've got loads of them. While imbuing a crystal with memories is a simple process, storing a message, a warning even, would be something altogether more complex. It means that someone besides the present company and Esam was aware of the plot unfolding. Then why would they not make themselves known? Perhaps it was one of the other orders. We shall quest them after they're freed. That task may take some time. I am the one of the same man. Leave the loose ends to us. This talk of journey smacks of us. Um, so it's not all over and done with yet. We'll be coming back again, I suppose. Right, so is it all done? Speak with Russian Lord at Aporia, where's that one then? Nope. I want to go back to Elpis. I should have got myself a quest, shouldn't I? Plenty to do, but we'll save it for last time. Next time, what am I saying? Right, oh, as I said at the beginning, Happy New Year to you all. I hope it's a better one. Mind you, the 2020 so far have been pretty shit, so it can't be any worse. But I hope it's a lot better, and you achieve what you want to set out to achieve. You can do it. But anyway, look after yourselves, have a great day. And until tomorrow, I'll see you there.